Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. Today, I'll be talking about how I got an internship at Microsoft. I will be a program manager intern at Microsoft this coming summer, uh, so from May to August 2018. In this video, I'm going to talk about my entire internship interview process, starting from when I first got in contact with a recruiter and how I did that, going through the interview process, going through the questions that I was asked, and then finally to getting the internship offer and what that looked like. So I had applied to Microsoft every single year in college. It's a big company and I thought, you know, it would be pretty cool to intern there for a summer. But for one reason or another, I never got contacted before this time around. And just for some context, the way that I had applied in the past was I submitted an online application and I submitted my resume at a career fair. So honestly, I don't know why I had not been contacted in the past, but it is what it is. The way that I got contacted this time around was a recruiter actually reached out to me on LinkedIn. And the reason that they found my LinkedIn over just any other person's LinkedIn was because I had done an internship at Apple the year before. So from January to August of 2018, I interned at Apple. After that internship ended, I put that on my LinkedIn. Apparently the Microsoft recruiter was looking for previous Apple interns to headhunt and recruit to Microsoft. Because I had that on my LinkedIn account, I popped up in their lists and I got a message on LinkedIn that said they were starting their recruiting process and they were looking for potential interns interested in hardware, mechanical, firmware. If I was interested, I was supposed to send an email to this recruiter and apply online. That was pretty much it. The recruiter was going to review my resume. So once I got that message on LinkedIn that said, you know, we're interested in having you apply to Microsoft, please email us your resume. I, first of all, I was shocked, uh, but second of all, I was really excited. So I did that as soon as I could, sent over my resume, um, but it took about a month for them to get back to me. So I did this in September and I got an email in October that said the recruiter had reviewed my resume and they were looking to offer me a first round phone interview opportunity. So I did that and on this phone interview, the person interviewing me was someone who I thought could potentially be a manager at Microsoft or potentially my manager. So I tried my best and they asked questions about you know, my past experience, uh, this was related to the supply chain, so they asked how I would define a supply chain. And they asked about um, like how I would deal with situations where there was conflict. There was nothing technical about this interview, but I still had to give my answers in a logical way. So after this uh, phone interview was over, I sent a follow-up email saying thank you for taking time to interview me. And a little bit over a week later, I got an email saying that I had been invited to a final round interview kind of a super day at Microsoft. This would be exciting for anyone, but it was especially exciting for me because I had never been to the Seattle, Washington area, and the final round interview was being held in their Redmond headquarters, which is right next to Seattle, and Microsoft was paying for everything. So they paid for the plane flight, the hotel, the food, the sightseeing. So naturally, I took advantage of this and I turned this into a Seattle weekend vacation right in the middle of midterm season. Great idea. <laughs> I went to the first Starbucks, I went and saw the Space Needle, I got catering delivered to my hotel room, um, I took Ubers around Seattle. So essentially, it was a really good time uh, and I got to see a lot of Seattle, so that was just very fun. Even if that's all that came of it, I would have been happy. But let's talk about the, the reason that I was there, the interview. So the interview was a little bit more stressful than I had thought, um, mainly because the night before there was a pre-interview dinner. Um, what this means is Microsoft invited all the intern candidates to a local restaurant and they split us up into rooms based on what our different majors were. So I was in the room with all the mechanical engineers. There was another room with all the electrical engineers. You, you get how it goes. So in these rooms, besides the students, there were Microsoft employees that were working in the related field. So there were some product designers and some engineering managers in my room. What I found out later is that some of these employees would be interviewing the following day. So I was actually able to meet one of my interviewers 
in advance and I was able to do some background research on them which really helped me when I was in the interview. The next day was interview day and it started bright and early. We had to be there around 7.30 a.m. at the Redmond headquarters. It was held in a building that was specifically for HR and interviewing. In this building, they had all the uh, different you know, intern candidates from all different schools. So the way it worked was you either got a morning slot or an afternoon slot. And that just meant that was the time where your interviews were. So I got a morning slot and that meant that my interviews started at 8 a.m. and went until 12 noon. There were 45 minute interviews with 15 minutes of a break in between. So all the students were pretty much in the front of the building with some snacks, scones and fruits and things like that. And at every hour on the hour, the Microsoft interviewers would come out and uh, say your name. So it was kind of like the Hunger Games because they would come out of the office and they would say, okay, Maria blank. And then they would take Maria. They would say Mark Ansel and they would take me. And so <laughs> it was pretty funny. But what I found out was that in those 15 minutes between the interviews, so it was 45 minute interview, 15 minutes in between, and then another 45 minute interview, in that 15 minute in between segment, the interviewer from the interview that just happened was passing on information to the interviewer that was about to interview you. And uh, I knew this because some of the information that I talked about in the previous interviews came up in later interviews. So that's just something to be careful of. Four hours of straight interviews, and then I had lunch, and I had a tour of the Microsoft campus. Oh, something that's cool about Microsoft is that they have free drinks in refrigerators everywhere, so things like coconut water, soda, flavored water, things like that. Um, so that I thought that was pretty cool. After that entire day, I talked to a lot of the other interns and I said, oh, you know, how do you feel that you did? Because I had felt like I did pretty well, but I really didn't know. So that didn't really help with my confidence because everyone else said that they felt like they did well as well because we had all been able to answer the questions they were asking us. So honestly, walking out of that, I felt, okay, you know, it could go either way because everyone felt like they did well. But about nine days later, I got an email saying that the results of my interviews had been posted. I had earned an internship offer at Microsoft. Woohoo, that was really exciting. And I know some people didn't get that internship offer, so it's not like everyone who goes to the final round interview gets an offer. Um, so you need to do your best to try to stand out. One thing I did to stand out was I literally stood we were having a sit-down conversation, and whenever I was asked a kind of complex interview question, I would go up to the whiteboard that was next to me, stand, and draw out what I was thinking, saying, you know, that I would answer this in three steps, uh, and then draw that out so that it gave a more visual representation of, you know, answering the question. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure to comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, like this video and subscribe for future updates. We'll see you next week.